in the last class we talked about electric motor and we saw how the electric motor uh, works the principle of fleming's left hand rule isn't it so because of this current this coil was moving okay first the ab the side ab it came up then it went this side then the side ab which was here on the right hand side went down then ab again came on the left then it came up and likewise it went around so what did the electric motor do the electric motor will convert electric current into mechanical means electrical energy into mechanical energy isn't it you were supplying electric energy electric current and what the motor was giving you was mechanical rotatory movement isn't it so i hope everybody is clear about how an electric motor works now electromagnetic induction was given by michael faraday suppose if you take a magnet so there's a simple magnet a normal bar magnet and if you take this conductor and you connect a galvanometer to this solenoid so actually this setup is nothing but solenoid this is how you make a solenoid isn't it so now this is connected to a galvanometer and i told you what is a galvanometer a galvanometer is a device which will tell you whether the current is flowing or not if the needle is towards the left or right that means some current is flowing if the needle is right in the center at the zero mark then that means no current is flowing simple when there is no current flowing the needle will be in the center at zero mark if there is some current flowing then the needle will be either towards the right or towards the left clear that that is that is the function of the galvanometer to tell you whether the current is flowing or not now look what happens here we have not connected the solenoid to any electrical circuit no current is flowing through the circuit and what we do is we try and bring a bar magnet close to this solenoid when we bring the bar magnet close to the solenoid suddenly we see some deflection in the in this galvanometer the galvanometer either shifts to right or left which shows that there is some current which is induced in this solenoid so what is the reason for this current to be induced in this solenoid probably the bar magnet the bar magnet is only responsible for inducing this current in a solenoid so you have this um, bar magnet one is south one is north here now when you bring this bar magnet close to this solenoid look at this lines all the magnetic field lines are emerging out from the north and they are entering through the south emerging from the north so when you bring this bar magnet close to the solenoid these magnetic field lines are affecting the solenoid also even in the solenoid the magnetic field is going to change okay now this magnetic field is going to produce is going to induce an electric current in the circuit now when any time the magnetic field is changing along with time then there is an current with a current which is generated in the solenoid this current is called as induced current and that's why this change in magnetic field with respect to time is known as electromagnetic induction okay yes sir now look at this again the same thing when i bring this <coughs> this bar magnet close to the loop or away from the loop every time the galvanometer is going to show me some reading either towards the positive or towards the negative either towards left or towards right any time again suppose if i move this bar magnet close to the loop see these magnetic field lines now the bar magnet was away as i bring this bar magnet close to the loop these magnetic field lines will affect the loop also will affect the solenoid also so what will happen first thing the magnetic field of this solenoid will also change now because magnetic field is changing with respect to time obviously there will be some current induced and the galvanometer is going to flick okay but suppose if you keep this bar magnet at one position either close to the loop or away from the loop or wherever you want to keep but you have to keep it stationary so if you keep the bar magnet as it is the magnetic field of this loop is not changing 
again the galvanometer is going to show you zero deflection no deflection because you are not moving the bar magnet so remember as long as you will you will move the bar magnet towards the solenoid or away from the solenoid in or out every time the deflection the, the galvanometer is going to show you some deflection and the deflection will be opposite suppose if you are moving the bar magnet in and the deflection is towards left now next time when you move the bar magnet out the deflection is going to be on to the right means opposite why opposite because now the direction is changing but any time if you keep the bar magnet or the solenoid stationary at one place stationary at one place then the galvanometer is going to show you zero deflection which means no deflection okay okay instead of a bar magnet i am using a, a a second solenoid and i've connected this coil or this solenoid with a battery here look at this there's a battery and there's a switch so it it becomes a bar magnet only see whenever you connect and you whenever you pass any electric current through any coil it behaves like a magnet only so this left hand side which means the coil 1 actually is nothing but a magnet okay it is nothing but a magnet because passing electric current through this coil so suppose for 5 minutes this this circuit was open that means when the circuit is open there is no magnetic field this will not behave like a magnet the coil 1 is not behaving like a magnet if it is not behaving like a magnet there is no change in the magnetic field of coil 2 there is no induced current so galvanometer is going to show you zero no deflection a second point if you can write down these points very good now second point suppose if i switch on i close this this particular switch i put this switch on when i put this switch on for that one second will this coil show you will the will the galvanometer show you some deflection Yes ma'am because current is flowing and magnetic field was there Yes as soon as you put this switch on close this loop okay close this circuit the magnetic field this will behave like a magnet coil 1 will behave like a magnet and the magnetic field lines will start emerging out like this and this magnetic field of coil 1 is going to affect this magnetic field of coil 2 okay so the magnetic field of coil 2 will change the galvanometer is going to show you some deflection so the galvanometer will flick okay now you have put it on the switch is on and the switch remains on for let's say 5 minutes or 10 minutes or 1 hour yeah this yeah this will start behaving like a magnet so let's say the magnetic field lines are emerging out these magnetic field lines will affect the magnetic field of coil 2 but now these coils are not not physically moving neither coil 1 is moving nor coil 2 is moving when they are not moving the magnetic field in coil 2 will not change same is the case with when the when the switch is closed now you want to open the switch to aapne kya kiya what you have done is you have you have put the switch off the moment you put it off again the galvanometer is going to show you some deflection okay but after you put it off for another 1 hour or 2 hours it is going to remain the same so there is no change in the magnetic field here so that means there is no induced current so current will be induced only when you putting the switch on or off at that for that moment and after that it is going to remain the same three cases can be discussed what will happen when the bar magnet is moving close to the solenoid so you will say that the galvanometer there is some induced current which will be generated and galvanometer is going to show you deflection now second question can be what will happen when this bar magnet go away from the solenoid again there is a change in the magnetic field of the solenoid and hence there is an induced emf generated or induced current generated so again the galvanometer is going to show you some deflection what will happen if the if the bar magnet is stationary then you will say 
no deflection okay galvanometer is going to show you zero deflection 